As someone who has over 2,000 hours playing tank on Skyblock, I know that it comes with its fair share of uncertainty. With new updates and metas coming out all the time, I thought I'd put a fresh coat of paint on the tank progression guide and hopefully save you guys some time. Let's get right into it. For floor 1, you can honestly use any armor. It's not a very difficult floor, so a set of rotten armor will do you more than okay here. Weapon-wise, a cleaver from the dungeon shop will do, and any pet will really do. Floor 2, I would recommend using the same setup. As we're getting into a slightly more difficult floor, maybe think about using the stone chestplate from the dungeon shop as it'll give you a bit more survivability. A zombie soldier cutlass is the upgrade we'll go for weapon-wise as it'll give 10 hearts for every hit we get. Again, any pet will really do, maybe just try and gear towards one that gives any sort of health or defense stat. Moving into floor 3, a set of adaptive armor is technically the best tank armor you can acquire right now, but we'll be moving on from it soon. An adaptive blade is the weapon we'll be using for its tank derived stat boost, and for pet, a blue whale of the best rarity you can get is the best pet for this floor. Floor 4, hopefully your catacombs 10 by now as old dragon armor is the best armor to use here. Huge defense and health boost compared to adaptive, so your survivability should be high using this armor. For weapons, there really isn't anything great damage-wise as a tank, so the adaptive blade should be just fine. For pet, a blue whale will do just the trick. Floor 5, old dragon armor will work once again. For the weapon, if you can grab an earth shard, that would be ideal as it will reduce our main damage ability seismic wave. Blue whale is the best pet once again, hopefully legendary by now. Moving into floor 6, we're going to make the switch to Necromancer Lord armor. If you have the Revenant Horror level, use a Reaper Mask instead of a Necromancer Lord Helmet. Earth Shard is most likely fine again here, as our main job is to just tank damage, but you can opt for a Flower of Truth or a Bouquet of Lies to aid with damage if you want to pack a little extra punch. The Blue Whale will serve us again just fine for this floor. Floor 7, at the bare minimum, you can run with the 3 4th Necro Lord armor with the Reaper Mask, but you'll want to get 3 4th Gold Ore with a Reaper Mask as soon as possible. We can use the same weapon again here as we still don't deal all that much damage, but we're going to try and opt for a Wither Blade whenever we can, because technically it's the best weapon for tanks that can be unlocked from this floor. For pet, a tried and true Blue Whale pet will be perfect for this floor as well. Now in terms of Master Mode floors, once you hit M3, you'll need to upgrade your arsenal pretty severely. You now will definitely need a clear set, so 3 4th Necron with a golden head is best. For weapon, you'll need a Terminator, as you'll need it to get into any party. Extra notes about this guide, you can use a turtle pet in exchange for a whale pet if you'd like. I know it's been buffed pretty significantly in the past, so you may experiment with that if you so please. In Floor 7 and onwards, a Mender Crown can be swapped with a Reaper Mask as they both give really good survivability stats. I've always been a bit old fashioned, so I've always preferred the Reaper Mask, but the Crown is good too. So that's all there is for this video guys. If you want to see guides for other classes, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and comment what class you want next. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.